All right, well, this is the finished product. We've got a water separator and regulator on the, or, um, you know, pressure gauge on the side with the hose reel. Um, I had replaced the universal joint, it was leaking initially. I got the uh, portable tank on this side, it's basically just um, more space, 11 more gallons of air. Um, it's completely encapsulated. I forgot to film the actual assembly of it. Um, so that's the interior. Got the hoses running, splitter. Um, not sure how quiet it is yet. We're going to find out. I haven't fired it up with the doors on it. Uh, but I can tell you, um, really, I already don't like it. It's just, I guess I can, you know, put stuff on it. But it's just so big. Um, I guess it really doesn't take up much, much more of a footprint than the original compressor did. Um, right there, the hinge already pulled out, so I've already got to fix that. But um, overall, it's a lot of work for something that is just a lot of weight uh, that I'm probably never going to move. I'm probably going to end up throwing this away before I move anywhere else again. I'm not sure if it was really a good idea at all. But it was loud, so I guess we'll see what the difference is. It is better.
Okay, that, that's where that video really just kind of ended. I was having a lot of technical difficulties. This was frustrating me. And then the camera was, I think the batteries were dead. And I was running out of storage space. Uh, so that was the end of it. And I went ahead and threw it all together anyway. Um, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I mean, it works. It does what I want it to do. But it's definitely a lot bigger than I imagined. And a lot heavier. Um, maybe at the end of the day, I, I guess I am pleased with it. Um, I mean, everything else I got weighs so much anyway. What do I care about how much this weighs? Um, obviously, a main concern I have is uh, overheating. Because it does... Uh, even with uh, light use, it does um, get pretty hot in there. So it's one of those things where I probably, if I was to like be running it continuously using a die grinder or something like that, I'd probably have to have the uh, um, door open if I was, um, which I think would then actually make it louder because it resonates it. Um, but it's surprisingly loud to begin with. Um, and I think part of the, the, the noise that remains is vibration between the lower and the top doors. Um, vibrating against each other um, but as you, as you can see it's basically just um, I took a 2x4 uh, ripped it down the middle uh, miter cut it and then I sandwiched it with some scrap MDF that I had and some scrap uh, particle board on the inside that I had from when I tried to insulate my dust collector that I ended up getting rid of which then freed up all this uh, particle board and that insulation which is what I sandwiched in here um, all the way around so it's you know what is that one and a half inches thick um, with the insulation inside and then basically the top of it is basically just bolted together with three inch screws countersunk so it's modular in a way and then if you watch my video on the three drawer chest I made for my drill press the little wheels that were too small are what I stuck on this because it's not moving um, the tank on the side uh, further research, I should have just left it up, and honestly, it's not even connected. It's just hanging by gravity right now, so I can still move it and then create a water trap. Uh, if you look at them on Pinterest or anywhere like that, you'll see them hung above the air compressor with uh, some sort of water trap in the meantime. Um, and then, no matter what, I've used thread sealing uh, tape. I've used thread sealing compound. There's still a leak I can't find somewhere. I've I've taken this part and reassembled it like five times and it still has a slow leak somewhere um, that is causing drainage. So if I let it sit for more than 24 hours, I gotta completely refill the whole system. Um, that, like I said, is just hanging on gravity so I can just disconnect it, shut the valve off, and I can take that with me, um, and it's ready to go. Um, but I do notice the difference when I'm using this. It does, I, I can go longer between it starting out having that extra air on the side um, and then the water trap on this side, so. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, can't necessarily say I'd recommend it. Ideally, I you know have this in a separate room, you know, like outside. Like like if I could do that with this and a dust collector, it'd be amazing. So you know, once I stop moving around and I have a place where I can make my own, that's definitely what's going to happen. Is this and the you know whatever air compressor I have at the time, the dust collector they're going to get their own room. They'll be outside, away from me, completely isolated. So. Since everybody in my neighborhood wants to drive by and make all kinds of noise in this moment, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe, and, and you know, check out the Facebook page and the Etsy store. Thank you.